Hi, it's Craig. Parametric equalizers get all the attention, and so do shelving EQs. But low-pass and high-pass filters, while not as glamorous, can be very useful. Using a high-pass filter to reduce frequencies below 100 Hz or so can tame the bass-heavy proximity effect from directional mics and reduce P-pops. Adding resonance to this curve can give a slight lift above these low frequencies, which adds warmth to the voice. High-pass filters can also emulate an open-back cabinet with amp sims using closed-back cabinets and tighten up sounds by removing frequencies below an instrument's note range. Just be careful not to get rid of desirable low-frequency artifacts like the thud that can occur from hitting hand percussion. Meanwhile, low-pass filters with fairly steep slopes can reduce high-frequency artifacts from some digital processors like saturation and overdriven virtual amps, as well as help virtual instruments sound more mellow and warm. Don't overlook these useful filters.